upcoming amusement and leisure centers, corporate and residential districts, and major commercial establishments. These are some of the reasons why the Manila Bay Area is seen as the next big thing, not just in business, but as the main lifestyle hub in the metro. Definitely the drivers um, in this industry right now is the BPO, the business process outsourcing. The revenue of about $23 billion, uh, as of 2015. That is now poised to go up to about $1.8 million in 2022 in terms of employment and will approximate the OFW remittances of about $25 billion in the Philippines right now. So that is a massive growth driver. So we have seen a lot of sales in, in, in residential condominiums and even in housing uh, right now. And if you go to the Bay Area, you're, you're going to see a lot of residential high-rises uh, going up as well. Major real estate developers like SMDC have been shaking up the construction of Metro Manila's southern cityscape as the demand for residential properties and corporate industries have been on the uptrend as resorts, casinos and hotels open within the complex. The residents who live in the SMDC developments within the MOA complex, uh, like sea residences, shell residences and shore residences, uh, they all enjoy the lifestyle that this um, vibrant entertainment and business district uh, has to offer. Because the MOA complex actually has everything. It has, it has a sprawling mall, uh, BPO and multinational offices, first class uh, hotels, uh, it has uh, entertainment uh, venues and uh, convention centers. If that's not enough for you, uh, you can uh, go next door to the entertainment city. Uh, which offers a colorful Las Vegas vibe with a multitude of hotels and casinos to choose from. This district is also uh, very convenient and very accessible because um, it actually uh, has a lot of major roads leading to it. For example, uh, coming from the south, you can take the coastal road. Uh, in the center, you have Edsa and Bendia. And if you come from the north, uh, you can drive down from Manila, down, down Ross Boulevard into the MOA complex. So this is very convenient for our residents. That's why they're, they're, those living in uh, SNDC uh, projects within the MOA complex because of the accessibility. And then they also uh, have the, our trademark first class amenities like um, the resort themed swimming pools and uh, expansive gardens and lounges. And we have the hotel designed, hotel style lobbies. So if you're a resident, and you want, uh, you need to get something, you need to eat or avail of some service, and you don't feel like going to the malls, you can actually just step out because our residential complexes have uh, commercial strips connected to it. So that uh, with all of these, uh, the SNDC residences here in the MOA complex uh, provide the integrated lifestyle our residents look for. There's an expected influx of new business establishments, commercial projects, and residential buildings in the coming years, making the Manila Bay Area truly an integrated lifestyle complex.